So first of all, apologies it's been a while once again since the last video. All will be explained towards the end of this video. There are some, some different reasons why it's been a while since I last made a video. Now if you're wondering what you're seeing in the background, this is a game called Nozgoth. I think I pronounced that right. And it's being developed by Psyonix. It's currently in early access. I think you can get it for about £1.50 on Steam. Psyonix are the guys who've had roles in games like Mass Effect, Unreal Tournament, Gears of War. And it does have a very Gears of War feel to it. That's why I'm really enjoying it at the moment. It's sort of vampires versus vampire hunters. And, and the mechanics and the gameplay, very Gears of War-esque. So I do hope you enjoy the gameplay. And what I'm here to talk to you about today is, is why we play games. The reasons why we do it, because... As I'll explain later, and, and half the reason I've been away is is looking at how people are behaving recently. I, th I think a lot of people are forgetting the real reason. You know, we're all gamers, okay? We're all here to play games and to have fun. So why do we play them? And there's there's a lot of psychology behind it. I'm not going to go into that. Perhaps I could do that on my on my science channel, um, a bit of psychology into why we play games and why we get enjoyment from them. But I'm not going to go into that into great detail. I may just touch upon it a little bit. But I'm going to start with a story I read, and I will link the article in the description below. It's a very, very nice story, and it, it will warm the cockles of your little hearts. Basically, it was a story of, of a young guy who, when he was a kid, was bought an Xbox by his dad. You know, the first one that, that was reported to initially chew up discs and all that kind of shit. And they bought a racing game together, and they used to play this racing game. And his dad held the record, and his son always tried to beat his dad's racing time. I'm sure we've all been been there trying to beat our dad on, on a game when we were kids. And unfortunately, his dad died not long after. And the Xbox kind of got forgotten, got put away, collected dust. And he never went back to it. Until recently, he turned it back on and put that racing game on that he used to play with his dad. Only to find the ghost car of his dad's lap time racing around the track. So once again, he could race with his dad. You know, his dad who had passed away years before he was racing his ghost car and the story says, I'll link, I will link this in the description he finally got to beat his dad's time got to the end of the lap stopped on the finish line so his dad could drive past and he would never lose that little connection he had with him and for me that sums up one of the best things about gaming the fact that it can take us to places that, that a lot of other things can't you, know, you can watch a film, you can, you can switch off for a couple of hours enjoy a good film but for me, a game can be even more immersive than a film, and it can really take you to places that you you couldn't you couldn't manage otherwise. You know, where else could you be? I don't know, Commander Shepard, savior of the universe, or Master Chief, savior of the universe, or Marcus Phoenix, savior of. I feel like I'm going in the same direction with these, but you know, we know what I mean. It's it's something that you can't do elsewhere. It gives you a, a great experience and. On top of that, you've got things like you can have a sense of accomplishment if you do something that was difficult on a game. For example, first time I played Dark Souls, I got my absolute arse kicked. I don't know what an absolute arse is. Maybe it's an upgrade from a normal arse. If someone knows that, please, please let me know. But yeah, I got the shit kicked out of me. And then I started to beat things and, and you start to feel that sense of achievement and satisfaction. And it may sound sad to some people. Oh, you, you feel achievement because you beat a game. But to be fair... Those people are often the kind of people who their sense of achievement is drinking five shots and not throwing up. So shove that up your righteous fucking arse. It also gives us a community as well. Especially recently we've got a big gaming community. People can, can interact and, and make new friends through games. It's a great community of environment as well. And there's lots of other reasons as well. You know, it does satisfy certain needs. And we're all here to have fun and enjoy games and have a good time. And one of the reasons I've been away from YouTube recently is due to the fact that every time I, I log on Twitter, there seems to be another argument going on. People hurling abuse at each other about games, about videos, YouTube videos about gaming. And it seems like the message is getting lost. The idea that we're supposed to come on here to play games, have fun, develop a community and all get along. And, and it's just collapsing at the moment. Now, I've got my old gaming buddies, the guys who I've known all my life. We've been playing games together since Gears of War on the Xbox 360 and have been friends in some cases for the last 20 years. And these guys have nothing to do with YouTube. So with all the shit that's been going down recently, when I've come back from a, from a day working in the lab, instead of turning my PC on, seeing all this shit, I've just turned my Xbox on and just chatted to these guys. And it, it's just been an escape from all the unnecessary drama that I'm seeing at the moment. 
Now, with my Xbox One, I can't record it at the moment because my, my capture card doesn't have HDMI and the DVR function on Xbox One is still pending an update to the bitrate, so it's not the greatest bitrate. So to record stuff, I still have to get on my PC or my Xbox 360. That's why there's been a bit of a gap. But yeah, I've just been trying to escape all the drama because it's, we just don't need it. We're here to play games. That's our main goal, to have fun and share things with you guys that we enjoy. And I don't want that message to get lost. I do apologise again for the long delay between the videos. I do hope you enjoyed this one. And any theories on to why we play games, please leave in the description below. If you would like to see a more psychological explanation as to why we do play games, also let me know and I'll, I'll make sure I get on that when I continue with the science channel. But until next time, you guys take care of yourselves and I hope I'll see you all very soon.